Mabo inachemuka. Let's listen to this video. Angela Wawira, kahaba namba moja Nairobi. Huyu alikuwa bestie ya fulufulu eh, also known as Sharon Jerry. But still alikuwa ana move na DJ Brown skin. She's the There is a Kenyan lady mwenye ako US. Kuna msichana mkenya ako United States. Huyu msichana anaitwa Koi. Huyu ndio msichana mwenye alilik video ya Sharon. Yenye Shadow alikuwa captured akikunywa simu. Na hiyo video ilikuwa captured na mwenye alikuwa anafaa kumsaidia. Mimi ni msema kweli na mimi ninapenda ukweli. Sharon alikuwa na shida zake tu kama mwanamke. But the good thing before DJ Brownski namchukue alijua Sharon ako na hizo shida. Mabeni na machungu sana na ma list ya madem kumi na wawili. Jana nilimalizana na dem anaitwa Anji. Lakini siku malizana na yeye kabisa ninarudi kwake tena. Anji Anji ni sister ya Nyambu. Nyambu ni mama ya msichana anaitwa Shaniz ama Slay DJ Brownskin DJ Brownskin wewe ni takataka DJ Brownskin wewe ni gasia DJ Brownskin ulikula anji na asifio itoshi DJ Brownskin bado ukarudi ukakula mpaka Slay ambaye ni mtoto wa Nyambu hiyo kitu venye Sharon aligundua yani DJ Brownskin ni fisi mpaka inakula mtu na anti yake anakula anji tena anakula mpaka niswa anji slay slay mtoto wa nyambu na nyambu wewe ulikuwa unajua vizuri anji ni beshte damu wa kufa kupona wa Sharon shadodo fulufulu na bado naacha sister yako anaharibu nyumba ya beshte yake almasi na kupenda tena na kutambua sana kuna beshte ya shadodo alikuwa anaitwa almasi kama kuna dem aliumwa na kifo ya huyo dem ni almasi Almasi alilima punda wakiwa club lofti alishika punda alipiga alipiga nyambu mbaya sana and i'm happy because you took it into your own hands to condemn an evil that happened while everybody else had the power to stop that evil sasa mimi nataka kueleza vitu chache Sharon ameacha watoto wawili mmoja anaitwa Sherin Mumbi na mwingine anaitwa Travis. Hu Travis anaitwa AKA babake anapenda kumuita Popo. Ilifika mahali DJ Bronski na mikuwa toxic mpaka ana discriminate huyu mtoto anaitwa Sherin Mumbi kwa sababu hakuzaliwa ndani ya wedlock. Before Sharon na DJ Brownskin waone, Sharon alikuwa demi ya mjaka fulani anaitwa Oposh. Oposh ndo baba ya Sherin. Kuna venye Oposh na DJ Brownskin bado nafanya research walikuwa mabeshte walikuwa mabeshte but sasa Brownskin true to hii ujanja ujanja zake na ukora zake ni kama alikuja ka convince nani e, Sharon Sharon akaachana na nani na Oposh but aliachana na Oposh kama washafanya nini washaza ndio akarudi akazalia DJ Travis nani mtoto mwenye anaitwa Popo Of course relation ya Oposh na Sharon pia ilikuwa na shida zake juu Oposh ni mtu wa kupiga piga bibi makofi wa kuchuna masikio and i think it led to their separation na kitu kama hiyo last few days last few months a month or two before her death Sharon miscarried na mimi ni mtu wa kusema ukweli Sharon miscarried when uh, the truth about her medical condition came to her realization na ni kama aliona it is a mess yenye ange live nayo relationship imeenda mbaya and above all ana, anaenda OC aka confirm his worst fear which i am not going to mention in this conversation the medical thing i am not going to mention sasa kuna dem anaitwa su na kuna dem anaitwa peres na kuna dem anaitwa gaso nyinyi wasichana watatu na watambua lakini mnajua ukweli lakini amwezi toka na msemi ukweli na mimi ninashangaa mnaogopa nini mtatishiwa na nani unajua the best gift yenye mnaweza patia sharon Niku, ni kusema ukweli members of the public hata kama law society of Kenya itakuja kuchukua hii maneno mnajua by the time by the time huyu dema nakufa vitu Sharon alisema vitu mtoto wake Sherin alikuwa anaambia mama yake mwenye anaitwa Sharon 
it was something that personally mimi mimi yani guys i'm telling you the truth it was very painful it was very shocking now the worst part of it ni kwamba even the ch the children were present during her last moment now may 21st 2022 Sharon called one of her friends and akamwambia majamaa jo mimi anji wamenimaliza anji amenimaliza kabisa kwa anji amekumaliza aje akasema imagine anji beshte yangu damu all along amekuwa kinidanganya na sasa hiwa jana walikuwa tunnel club inaitwa tunnel kitengela and the true the two true to her words slept together smashed each other na wewe anji leo usiku I am going to leak all those nudes. Zawewe na DJ Brownskin. It is the truth that we must tell the members of the public. Friends, when you are not any friends, wako lakini ni madui, wako anakuchukia. They don't wish you well, they don't want to see you grow. Aki mabeshte zangu, mungu wa suwapatie marafiki kama ude, manaitua Angie. Now, Fiona, Mimo. Hmm. Mimo. Mimo, Mimo, Mimo. <laughs> Fiona. <laughs> eh. Fiona. Wewe umekula DJ Brownskin. Na unajua bibi yake. Na unajua mpaka watoto wake. Fiona acha mimi nikwambie ukweli. Fiona ulikuwa dem wa DJ alikuwa anaitwa Chacha. Fiona sumekuwa demi ya DJ Chacha. Na DJ Chacha si yako na bibi. Na unajua mbaka bibi na watoto wa DJ Chacha. Fiona sikuna birthday ya watoto wa DJ Chacha ambayo uli attend. Na uliendanga baka na mtoto wako. Na wesi ndo the same same Fiona. Mwenye bado ulikuona unamove na DJ Brownskin. Kama si Sharon, mtu alipatianga DJ Brownskin akilia kukua mtu creative. Akilia kujibra. Kama kuna mtu alibrand DJ Brownskin, ni uyu marehemu Sharon. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Sharon alikuwa napenda baba yake sana. Adi Father's Day ama every Christmas, akikutana na mabeshte zake. Anapigia baba yake simu na analazimisha mabeshte wake wote waonge na baba yake. In fact, Sharon alikuwa napenda baba yake to an extent akisha patia mabeshte zake simu wakaongea na baba yake anawambia sasa mtumie baba yangu kitu ndio mpate baraka na kwa baba ya Sharon mimi nasema tu pole sana kenye ilifanyika siki tumzuri mimi kama mkenya mimi kama kijana mjaluo mimi kama msema kweli nimelaani hiyo kitendo kwa ile strongest term possible juu tukisema kweli hata mtu haujui Ukipata kama amegongwa na ukipata kama amegongwa na gari ama amekanyagwa na pikipiki lazima tu struggle usaidie huyo mtu ukipata kama hata stranger na umia mahali yako nja hata ili umpatie fare yako useme nimetembea leo mpaka kwa nyumba lakini nimeokoa mai maisha DJ Brownskin na Diki na toshana na toothpick mfupi mfupi kama ile kitu watu kama ile kitu wapishwe na tumianga kubadilisha samaki after Sharon amekujenga ulikuwa natumia gari ya Sharon Toyota Wish Sharon amekujenga Sharon alikuombea Sharon alisimama na wewe mbako kanunua Noah ndo kaanza kukua mtu ndo kaanza tushika kudo, kushika tudo mimi yes hata mimi hata mimi ni mwanaume na naweza cheza demu yangu lakini siweza siwezi cheza demu yangu na mabeshte wake wa karibu naweza cheza demu yangu lakini siwezi cheza demu yangu na dema namjua na hata kama ni kucheza demu yangu eri ni mcheze na demu rembo kumliko yenye akiona at least anasema eh nyewe this time round uliamua na ulikuwa sio so ulichukua gunia ya makaa unakula anji anji ni sister ya nyambu na bado shaniz ni mtoto wa nyambu sasa unakula mtu na nisu wake nyambu wewe uko hapo tu umepanua umepanua mzee wewe shosho wewe shosho unapenda rege kazi yako ni shosho shosho unauza madem kwa rege kwendeni huko riswa mushindwe mulemewe mchombo nyinyi watu ambao mmeweka msichana wa mtu stress mmefanya maisha yake imekuwa ngumu mpaka mtoto wa Mungu mtoto wa mtu ameenda amejua hawalaani na kila siku mkilala mumuone na wasumbue mpaka na watoto wenyu amewachia huyo mwanaume chukweni huyo mwanaume muflos na yeye mupige mashereve nye mnataka amekufa amewachia dunia sasa ni usi ah. I feel like uh, 
for sure DJ Bronskin had a, his own contribution to this matter and I would say that he is not a free man but I would not say that uh, I would also want to say that women you might you need to mind about your friends because if this is true from these allegations that uh, DJ Bronskin kuna na na base ya bibi yake na pia kuna hii issue ya health in every moment okay hapa I feel like uh, this is an issue that is so complex to understand na mambo inaendelea ikitokea ikitokea then women maybe you, your friends are not always your friends i feel so sad when i see a woman fred sleeping with her, his husband or his partner because miss yelewi bona ulale na na bona ya best yako kuwa dem because if this issue of health peer dey ifanya itokee or siku dey kafanya ziwe by the way it makes sense a lot by the way but still we can say that um the de bronskin are push this lady to this point whether the lady has a issue of mental health which i agree she has i feel hapa at least was the de bronskin by the way na nasema vizuri sana even if you are to cheat as a man please 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 keep away from your friends of your wife because it's so dangerous and it's so bad and uh, i can tell this family were toxic this was a very toxic family but i feel i can no i understand why hakuwa na hiyo roho yaku kuambia demu yangu bibi yake stop this i love you please because i believe if he said he loved this lady at least i guess stop but the fact that uh, DJ Bronski knew his wife was a bisexual and still they continue to live together mr Sharon wengi walikuwa lesbian lakini Sharon alikuwa bisexual by the time <coughs> in fact DJ Bronski alikwanga na Sharon but alikuwa anajua Sharon alikuwa anapenda kukatia much of a complicated uh, thing and it's a kind of a toxic thing i want us to tell you where we are what do you think about this issue because he mambo in atemoka kuliko vile nilikuwa nafikiri forget that time about dj fat so he imekuwa was and i feel like uh, by the way i also tell people that yes many things are coming out about uh, marriages and relationship but you need to know that this is a small proportion of marriages that we have in kenya it may be five people who have died it may be 10 but we have a million of families who are working i believe if we open to ourselves embrace uh, healing our childhood trauma before we get into marriages we will solve this but now what happened is once you get engaged with someone who is toxic it's not easy to break up by the way then we do you know there were kids here involved and now if a kuna issue you may really confirm about uh, i can guess what it is i do know you can guess i feel like uh, even if it was the issue but now having the issue that she had a mental issue it could she could not process this thing as a uh another person would because yake i feel we buy one because we meant debi yake na ana bonake kuna issues zake ana za mental health pia kuna hiyo baya issue of health imetokea but i believe that um, everything is possible to face it's only that uh, when you are in the wrong mental state it's so hard for you to process things like you do process in normal state i don't feel like i don't totally feel like when i feel like as sharon was toxic i believe dj brown skin hapa makosa ni yako kabisa you can say everything but i don't feel like you are just fight for whatever you did before because some things you, you can do and everyone can bring the bad side of a person and i believe dj brown skin did a lot to do this Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. And this video is from my Nick Paul Walker on TikTok. It's not my video. Remember that. That's why it's good to notify to to credit the person because I'm not simply putting this video as mine. And I would like to respect the people who communicated this because they the own the videos. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this to run the next video.